Today here at RC Review, I'm going to tell you about the 10 best upgrades for the Traxxas TRX-4M. All right, Traxxas TRX-4M, one of the most significant RC releases in the last four years since the first TRX-4 was released, in my opinion. Not just because it's a good vehicle, because, but because it's so affordable. 150 bucks. that's like full tank of gas on my truck. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, and the 10 upgrades and mods I'm gonna give you are gonna be either free or low cost. I'm not gonna tell you to buy these uh, big time $70 servo, this brushless motor. We'll do that later. We're just gonna stick to the basics, focus on the weaknesses, the opportunities of the vehicle, and get your performance up there. Number one mod is get the low range gearing get the five dollar gear they sell it at Traxxas I can't believe how cheap it is uh, this thing this thing is way too fast and it it uh, it works but really the potential of it is in the crawling and they made it kind of a uh, optimize it for the kids for you know for, for the trail so it'll go like I don't know four or five miles an hour uh, and so it's a little like right here this thing can crawl but I you know I have to put so much throttle into it uh, and it affects only the, the low low speed torque but also the steering so if you get the five dollar gears you're good to go it's gonna be so awesome you can also get that motor with the gears but that's 40 bucks now we're talking eight times you don't want to do that that's the same exact motor you're just wasting money but get it soon because every Traxxas TX4M out there has this weakness and they're gonna want this gear uh, if they want to crawl number two is so from $5, we're gonna go to free. Uh, this thing has a weakness, and it's that the drive shaft pops out. So the drive shaft is here, the drive shaft pin, little tiny thing, uh, is held by a rubber, rubber hoop, and either that rubber thing gets displaced or, you know, uh, sometime down the line, it's, it's just gonna degrade. So it pops out. It pops out already to some people, but I know for everybody, it's gonna pop out eventually. So the mod right now is put some heat shrink tubing around it. Uh, you know, get the drive shaft out, put the tubing in and heat shrink it and you will be good to go. Free, because you should have heat shrink already. If not, it'll be like uh, a couple bucks because it is. you need that big heat shrink. Number three is fix the steering of this vehicle. Okay, so the steering is not bad. And, but when you're in low torque, high torque situations, you're in the, on, the, on the bumps like this, it does lock up. Um, and there's a few reasons for it. So this one's already, already fixed. And the first one is the tire is hitting the, the link. You, you just gotta move that away, uh, either with a spacer or a, a different hex. Um, put some, some bearings where the CVD, grease that CVD, put some bearings in that CVD uh, and, and improve it. And also that, that mod, the mod I told you about, the, the low torque mod, uh, the high torque, the low range gearing is gonna, is gonna help this thing tremendously. Cause this thing has incredible steering once you unleash the potential, you know? I think it's even better than the SEX24. All right, number four mod is the light kit. The light kit, uh, this, this has lights, but it's kind of hokey. I'd, I'd rather just cover these lights. So the light kit is actually really good and it's not that expensive, about 24 bucks, and, it, and you, don't, you don't need a light controller. It's a true light kit with smarts. It's already in here, it's already built in. You already paid for it, so might as well use it, right? 
But what I like it does is front and rear. It has all these modes, uh, low beam, high beam. Uh, it'll detect when you turn off your transmitter, uh, left, right, uh, right signal, a lot, a lot of technology. It, it's not, you can't control it with your radio, unfortunately, but you could press the button and select the mode that you want to be in. But it's super cool. I mean, the ProScale mod, the ProScale light kit on the, the real uh, 110 scale Bronco is 100 bucks. This thing, 23 bucks. Can't go wrong. And it's, that thing's going to be sold out too, so, so get on it. Number five mod is the bearing kit. Uh, the bearing kit is 40 bucks. You go, why do you want to need a bearing kit? I don't do that for my other vehicles. It's because this thing has no bearings. All it has is bushings and brass bushings at that. They did a pretty good job, you know, getting that price point down, but really it's holding back this vehicle. So the bearing looks like something like this. I think there's 20 bearings, 40 bucks from Traxxas. Uh, what I do, what I did is I, I did the axle, front axle bearing first, which really improved the steering under load. So if you want to save money, uh, that's what you want to do. But you know, 40 bucks is not too bad. Fast eddy bearings, just release the bearing kit for this one, 26 bucks. Same as Traxxas, but 26 bucks. And uh, I've used them before. They are quite good. And the other thing is you can just piecemeal bearings, maybe just do front axle bearings, rear axle bearings. Uh, see what you need, uh, see what's holding you back. You know, if you wanna don't, if you don't wanna spend the money or you don't wanna just take the whole car apart. One of the problems is you have to take the whole car pretty much apart if you're gonna install the whole bearing kit. The number six mod is wheels and bead locks and maybe a brass ring. All right, so what are, am I talking about? So a brass ring is this. Bead locks need a, a ring inside to, to lock the tire on. And if it's brass, it's like three or four times the weight of the plastic that you get. So this adds lower weight. You can do just front or front and rear, and they're not expensive. So bead locks, this is the name of the game right here. So aluminum bead locks, a little heavier, a lot better looking and you can replace tires easily. Uh, and there's gonna be a whole slew selection of this and it's gonna re really trick out your vehicle and make it perform better. The number seven mod is tires. So tires normally is number one, but these tires are actually not bad uh, and there's not a whole lot available yet. So these are BF Goodrich K M3s, mud terrain. On the Defender, they have Canyon Trail, which is not a good looking tire, but they kind of follow their 10 scale Defender. Uh, no foam on this, so when you get tires, something like this, uh, you're gonna get a, a sweet tire and foam as well. So foam is something tunable, tunable to the type of driving you do and to the weight of the vehicle. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is these are one inch standard wheel size uh, wheels, but the tire's kinda big, 2.2 inches. So what they sell right now for 24th scale high racks is two inches. So it is smaller uh, and it'll work for sure but it will lower your vehicle, uh, improve the center of gravity, but it will uh, harm the, the, the ground clearance a little bit. So just keep that in mind. I'm getting a whole bunch of tires that are the same time, same size as this. So uh, stay tuned for that. Number eight is get a battery connector adapter. So what are we talking about? So this vehicle has an unfortunate uh, option that the uh, first it has no switch, the, uh, but the battery has no balance plug. They just, Traxxas just said, hey, let's make our own plug. Uh, you know, make all those batteries out there obsolete and chargers. So dumb, <laughs> so dumb. So the downside of that is you can't use any other battery. You have to use their battery uh, and it's out of stock. Uh, so you're, you're, you're pigeonholed into the brand and the size of the battery. You know, want something smaller, nope, bigger, nope. Uh, the other downside is you can't use your charger. Uh, chargers are cool now, they're slow or fast, they balance, you can see the health of the, the battery, you can see if they're balanced or not, you can see how much percentage you used on the last run, but you can't see any of that. All you know is this battery needs a charge, you don't know how much charge it does and it has a USB charger. Okay, so the battery, Adapter just separates these uh, three wires into a positive and negative lead and a balanced lead. So uh, not, not a whole lot available right now, but there's some available already on the, on the enthusiast groups. Uh, but that means you can use any battery yeah, you need or any charger uh, that you prefer. 
The number nine upgrade is the transmitter. Here is the stock transmitter. It's as basic as basic gets. No options, no throttle trim, no endpoints, no programmability. Uh, you just have one button, which is a bind button. It works, but it doesn't deserve this vehicle. So, unfortunately, you can't use your super cool fly sky because you're gonna have to change the, uh, the receiver, the ESC, and all that. It's all this is this is all in one. So what? But what you can do is you can just bind it to another Traxxas TQI transmitter. Uh, in these things. You know, you probably have one in your garage already, so it's free. Or you can just buy one at eBay, 20, 21, 22 bucks, because people, you know, these are dime a dozen. People usually upgrade this to another thing. The advantage of this is now you have a, um, a trim button. So you can actually set your endpoints, you can set your throttle trim and whatnot. And you can, al you can also use a Bluetooth module like, like this one. Uh, so you could uh, program your ESC uh, or your, your radio using your iPhone. So, very good addition. And what I did is I did all my steering fixes and I set my endpoints. And no, I didn't have to limit my endpoints to something crappy. I was able to set it to 120%. Check this out. So instead of 45 degrees, I'm now sitting at 50 degrees, huh? And that was because of the steering mods and the and the radio endpoints that I did. And check this out. So I was maxed out, right? Put a little bit of throttle. Look at that. You tell me that stock, a stock can do that. 50 degrees and, and super low speed, no binding. Number nine right there. All right, number 10, upgrade and mod. I give you a choice of two. Uh, the first one is get the trailer. The trailer for this vehicle is pretty cool. Something fun, you know, because you know, if you want to do some trailing, pull that thing. It takes a different skill set to pull a trailer on some tech terrain, but it's so cheap. I can't even remember how, how much it costs. Usually they're like well over 50 bucks. So this one's pretty cheap. So get that one. But if you don't like that one, my uh, the alternative number 10 option for me is get the other TRX4 that you didn't get. So if you got the Defender, get the Bronco. If you got the Bronco, get the Defender as well. So now you have two. You can play with your, your friend, you can play with your kids, you can play with your spouse, and, uh, or you can just trick out both of them. These things are that cheap. Uh, they're that good, they're that upgradable. The fun factor for the money is off the charts. The fun factor for the money is just off the charts. I mean, I have my Bronco there, super cool, but it's 550 bucks. Every upgrade costs, puts that thing to a thousand pretty quickly. This thing, not bad at all. Thanks a ton, guys.